Thank you, Jeremy. And I think we owe Jeremy a vote of thanks as well, because this was his original concept that we should do this open for business meeting to bring together the business community and the open source community. <laughs> and of course, he and Andrew are our two event organizers, and they're part of the British Computer Society, the Chartered Institute for IT in the UK, uh, which uh, has sponsored and brought together the Open Source Specialist Group. So uh, around 205, 204, there were a number of us working in the open source area in the UK, and we got together and we thought, we should have a specialist group within the BCS. So I've been involved since that time. Uh, but it's only recently that I took on the job of chairing the group. And uh, what we're really grateful to, to the BCS is that they've funded us as a special initiative for this conference this year. And it's part of our effort to have more meetings outside of London. The BCS is very keen on training everyone who's involved in the official running of the BCS in unconscious bias. And uh, in my opinion, holding all events in London is a form of unconscious bias. So we thought it was a great opportunity to hold a meeting in uh, Hebden Bridge. And these are the aims of the BCS uh, open source group. Uh, and the BCS itself is a charity. All our meetings are open to the public, albeit many are in London. But we are trying to change that. And We do have a 10% scheme to uh, encourage non-members to attend meetings, and you can join the BCS using this code. Um, you don't have, it isn't as low cost as the uh, open source consortium for members. Uh, there is an associate membership fee, which you can pay, which is around 30 pounds. So this would give you a small reduction. Uh, we, we're a very open open source group. We don't just concentrate on software, we concentrate on all the opens. So open source hardware, open source software, open educational resources. Uh, well, I don't know, we've had all sorts of discussions about aspects of open research, open access publication, etc. So we try to be quite broad, but we are focused in the technology area. Uh, so I don't know if people have any questions. This isn't a talk that I prepared. And you can see I'm not really a, I'm a what can be said in color can be said in black and white person. So I haven't done a lot of uh, flashy slides. And I didn't, I've just was asked to do this on the spur of the moment. And these are slides I had for another purpose. So. Uh, I'll just go back, because what I have at the beginning of the slides, I, I had a list of events that we've run over the year. So this will show you the sort of things we've uh, had meetings about. So we had uh, something on open source chips, something on supercomputers, a, another meeting on open source business, opens in the energy domain. That was a really interesting meeting. Uh, augmented reality for walkers <laughs> on the Android. <laughs> um, low power to the people. Um, shrimping, that was a workshop we did. Shrimp is a poor man's Arduino for less than a five, five pound note. And Jeremy's company made these nice kits. So we had a, a workshop for uh, school kids and their parents. And lots of Easter eggs. And we had something on hacker spaces, uh, maker spaces. You know, in a sense, these are the kind of playgrounds of op the open source community. Uh, that was a fabulous thing, wiring up the Internet of Things with the uh, 
Raspberry Pi and the IBM open source uh, Node-RED language. Uh, more on chips, something on, this was a really interesting talk, supplementing teaching. And this is how a school uh, repurposed their whole computing provision by giving it a longer life by running uh, Linux on it. <laughs> and installing a lot of open source and free software applications that improve their communication uh, with the parents of the children at the school. And of course, we're here. Coming up, we have uh, our AGM. And we usually have about one meeting a month. And we are trying to have them outside of London. So if you have a pressing topic you'd like to uh, address, we're on the web. Uh, so look us up, and you can send an email to any of the committee. So I'd like to finish now. And thank you all for attending. And of course, um, if you have any questions, you can catch me later. Or Jeremy, or David, or Andrew, I'm sure we'll be able to answer them. <laughs>